Welcome to Lightest Dungeon on Instant Replay Live. Oh. Nick, Nick has light- assured me that we were too dark in the last episode. No, not too dark. Just too, too grim dark. Too serious. We talked but, about too much necromancy, too much murder. So yeah, we're oh, trying to brighten things up. I don't remember that. what my mission is in this dungeon. You're just exploring, I'm pretty sure. Oh, complete 100% of room battles. Throw up the top so left. I have to go all of them. Yep. Okay. So the one on the left. Yeah, for sure. So Let's look into this dead body. It's distressed by this. Yeah, he got. Oh, he got zoophobia. Ooh, whoa, oh, fungus yeah, so man. This is the first new area we've unlocked. Each this new area is, has different dudes and uh, different like backdrop. This is pretty sweet. Now my yeah. group. Oh, wow. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that yep. guy's holy lance though, so you can jump forward with him. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. my group is not the most balanced because I accidentally put some people for de-stress who who shouldn't have been de-stressed. We've but. also had really bad luck with the carriage, and that is probably the biggest downside to this game is that. Uh, the chanciness makes it interesting, but it also makes it potentially you can get cut out from having a, a, a successful estate, hmm. uh, a successful gain basically wow. by chance. Um, you know, becoming what good a at the dick game helps chance is for that. doing that to us. Yeah, <laughs> um, he's not the one, so it's the other one. Okay, so he'll just try to stun this guy. Good. Yeah. Um, no, I just feel like you know the the nature of our show. It's a little weird that. We were one, like, uh, hold on, words. <laughs> we generally try to keep things light and high entertainment by, like, laughing our butts off at each other. Yeah. And instead, we just weirdly ran into a few episodes. It's not a criticism. It's not a bad thing. No, no. I, it's I, I, just, oh, God, the dog is making so much noise. It's just weird that we suddenly, like, went three episodes without telling a single joke or you know, well, this whatever was, it like, was. This was like to get into super meta. This is the first time that I'm not really playing at all. I'm just sitting back yeah. and talking. And we were just talking about it. We we're like, man, we've been talking about like serious stuff. And I said that I don't have any funny things from my past or at least, I yeah. mean, of course, you know, everybody, everybody has funny times, in their, but I don't have any like, I feel like coming off the top of my head, I don't have that many funny stories. And I just think you're not jokes. thinking of them. Yeah. I like, don't, maybe it's just different. That's the way I think about, uh, Stories is having a defined beginning and end rather than experiences being right. things I can tell as a story. Um, we'll see. We'll see what comes up in my brain throughout. Um, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of times in my life that I've closed out from my memory because of all the necromancy, but we're trying to be light. Lightest dungeon. <laughs> all lightest the, dungeon. All the necromancy. All the necromancy. It's, yeah, it's been I know. a problem. It's a real issue for you. Uh, I should have just killed that thing. Well, I guess I wouldn't have killed him anyway. Um... Oh, he's attacking me. Isn't it interesting that necromancy is always considered evil, though? I mean... Well, it's like, not always considered evil. Almost always. Like, in games, but, the necromancer is usually the grim, dark character. Yeah. Um, but occasionally games will present the, like, it's just using... It's recycling, right? Like, right. Reduce, reuse, reanimate. <laughs> I mean, but so, like, it's like in Popular D&D, right? Popular t-shirt. The, the cleric, you know, has, like... Well, I guess the cleric has revivability, too, but... Um, the cleric heals, right? And healing is like, you know, keeping your characters from dying. Yeah. Um, but how but come if you look raising back, something from the dead is taboo? Well, actually, if you look back in early editions of Dungeons and Dragons... You can't, you can't click on I'm the I'm going there. the wrong way. Okay. There no, I wasn't going the wrong way. I was just... That's right. That's the way I had to go. Um, in early versions of Dungeons and Dragons, healing was actually a necromancy spell. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're totally right. And then they, they switched away from that and made it... Then it was like a sub school, and then it was conjuration, mm. and then it was not even anything. It was like its own thing altogether. Um, <laughs> Come on, dog, get over here. Yeah, she is all Wait. wound up. Which, if we're not going to be entertaining, at least the the clatter of dog nails on a wood floor should be good for you to hear, right? Oh, can we pray? Dog. No, shallow grave. Grave digging is not a healthy profession. Great, Nick. you silly. Super. You silly grave digger. Totally. Actually, the grave digger is my favorite class in this game. Oh, there's a class just for it? Yeah. I remember grave you mentioning. Grave robber actually is the okay. class. Okay. Is grave robber not. Wait, I remember you said there was one class that, like, will dig up graves. Or one thing. I thought it was, like, a quirk. Uh, yes. Um, necrophilia, I believe. Oh, is the one. right. Or I, I don't think they dig up the graves. I think they loot corpses that you find. They get obsessed with the corpse and they, they loot it immediately. All right, yeah. Um,. Yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of great stuff. Um, yeah, it think, seems really richly deep, too deep, I think, to really explore like explore everything. Yeah, right. To do it justice is what I was gonna go with, but yeah, yeah sure. Um, there there's so much here, so 
Uh, we, we talked between episodes. This will probably go ahead and be our last episode of Darkest Dungeon. Oh, there's the Grave Robber right there, too. Nice. Yeah. But I highly recommend it for anyone who uh, is interested in these kind of games. I mean, I'm having a blast. We have barely scratched the surface. These We've only done the short missions so far. This is a short mission as well. But there are longer missions that have new mechanics like camping. Yeah, there you are mentioned bosses that, one. Yep. that are really intense fights. Like not only so could take all the stress of like trying to get your characters through a dungeon and then put a boss at the end of it. And it's brutal. The boss fights are, are not for the faint of heart. Um, <laughs> and they're really cleverly designed. Everything in the design of this game is gorgeous. Even I mean we've talked about the art before, but the background here, you got the decreasing layers of uh, complexity. So hmm. that this is just the you know the fungal forest in the background. Mm hmm. I love it. I love it all. I, I, I do too. I'm totally into it. I'm going to play this after the show. I think I am... Gumball. She kind of sounds like that uh, that shape that resets itself. What? Uh, you don't know about that? Gumbok? Uh, Gumbok? Gum That's I've the name of the shape. I've heard of Gumbok, but it, it doesn't... Uh, not reset itself. It can't be took t uh, tipped over. Oh. It always stands upright. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's vaguely familiar. <laughs> I don't... Uh, resets itself. I was thinking of like trying to think of something that like you squish and it like you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Reforms or something. I don't know. I have a vocabulary. I guess that's that just I nerf. In my head, you know, <laughs> yeah. and it doesn't always work. My friend, uh, a good friend, Redbeard, always says that uh, <laughs> it, even if the words aren't correct, if the meaning is conveyed, then it doesn't matter if you use the yeah, words. Yeah, totally. Um, but I don't often convey the meaning properly. That's true, too. <laughs> also true. <laughs> Dude, nice nice heal on yourself. Well, I didn't want to die. The grave can wait. I, I'm not a fan of death. <laughs> oh, man, I kind of want a character to die before this is over, though. Oh, is it a cool, like, thing, or no? No, it's just, it's just a guy. You just want to show off how yeah. brutal the game could be. I'm actually. The other thing I really want to see is a character actually get the resolute like success because it looks awesome. Like oh, yeah. they're like for the rest of the dungeon, they're like commanding the party. They're huh. like, "Hey guys, we can do this." And the screen for when they actually like succeed is so victorious because so much of this game is so dismal. <gasps> so victorious. What is though? Like you're like when you when you get the the affliction, it's all like they're like they have their tragic screaming pose, but when they have their <laughs> their resolute pose, it's just it's like. It's kind of a, a glimmer of hope in this Ugh. otherwise, like, dismal journey into uh, deeper, deeper stress and deeper, deeper lightness. Lightness. We're talking about lightness in Ooh, this episode. A crit heal. That's nice. pretty light. Yeah. <laughs> since I'm feeling that. That's so light. Uh, Asolite? Asolite. What? What's an Asolite? What? That is not what I said at all. I said, that's so light. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my no. new band, though. Asolite. It's just... <laughs> Um, what is it like a like a seventies um, dance craze? Uh, the Asolite. <laughs> Everybody's doing it out on the streets. It's called the Asolite, <laughs> and it's a dream. Yeah, <laughs> I, that worked too well. It seems like you practiced. No, I mean no. I'm always practicing no. the Asolite in the streets. <laughs> yeah. When Nick goes to sleep, I slowly they... open the door and uh, go out on the street, and uh, I just do my <laughs> dance moves. I, I start off. I warm up with the Nikki. <laughs> you haven't referenced that yet. Oh, is that not a thing? No, yeah. Time is hard. Yeah. Was that in? Was that in? Was that in the Meat Boys? It was in Meat Boy. Yeah. I'm pretty it's sure, cool. right? It's yeah, it was in Meat Boy. Uh, I think I don't know. Everything runs together when you edit. Like yeah. <laughs> your entire life, it seems like that's all you do now. You definitely have not gotten the hang of the tubes. Do you have a shovel? The hang of the tube. Yeah, I do. Nice. You can shovel that. Yourself. You can shovel that. You can take that pile of tentacles and shovel it. Don't, don't do that yet. Do that. Okay, I got it. I'm okay. It's hard not being in control of games. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. That's bold. Oh, That's, I'm, I am bold. Fun 11 food. Fortune favors the bold. You should hit, you should, before you go through that door, you should definitely hit up your torches. Oh, yeah, I forgot about torches. <laughs> All the way to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the other thing is, when you're at Max Torch... Uh, Max Torch. Max Torch. You get the chance to surprise them. Um, if you have 100%, or the, the fourth, four bars of light. That seems counterintuitive, because it seems like you would be more likely to be seen if you were carrying I four think, torches. So, so, I mean, what it really comes down to is, you guys are stumbling brazenly through this dungeon, 
and the monsters are hoping to get the drop on you. Mm -hmm. um, but every time you kick down a door, like you're not. Yeah. Well, the less in the dark you are, the more chance you have to just take them by surprise, basically. Sure. Um, and man, I love. Resists. Uh, so I've always kind of been. I, I've grown out of dungeon crawls in a D and D experience. Uh huh. Uh, it, like I like my tabletop to be more a role playing based, but. But a computer game is the perfect place for a dungeon. Yeah, crawl. kicking down like the, the the idea of kicking down dungeon doors just is tasty to me. I loved it in Munchkin the first time I started playing it. I yeah. kind of burned out oh, on yeah. Munchkin, but it was exactly like the right the right call, like having door cards. I have the Adventure Time Munchkin, and oh, nice, uh, I've been nice. wanting to play it again. I've only played it once so far, and we've kind of rushed through it. Mm. I want to get a, a, a night in for that sometime I soon. I hate me down to, but uh, the, my, my You said you is, burned out a little I, bit. Yeah, because yeah. the game it doesn't really change, no matter... Uh, the, the jokes change, but the game doesn't. Yeah. For the most part, anyways. There, no, it does. Some, it's sometimes true. Sometimes the games add in new mechanics, like the uh, you can have more races thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you can have more races. The Super Mutant uh, one from uh, Space Munchkin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for those of you who have played Munchkin, it's it's just like the, the, the parody of D&D, &D, but in card game form. And you can slap on, like, kung fu uh, themes onto it or, or space themes by mixing up the different Munchkin card games, and they all work together. So we've played some really silly ones. Uh, I think the silliest one we had was Western Kung Fu with zombies. Uh, what was the silliest mashup you've had? So I haven't, like, everyone has always told me these stories about mashing them up, but I have never played in a group. I didn't own, for all the tabletop games I own, I did not own Munchkin until very, very recently. And I only bought the Adventure Time Munchkin. Mm. I have never played a mashup Munchkin. I have heard all sorts of things. Um, Space Cowboys for a Firefly Serenity Munchkin is the one that I've heard. The oh, it's, most. it's really good. It, it works really, really yeah. well. Yeah, I've My, heard the that two, the most. The two that I owned personally were uh, the classic Munchkin and the Cthulian Munchkin, uh, Lovecraft Munchkin. I can't remember what they called it, but uh, I gave them away to a friend when I when I felt like I had burned out. Hmm. Yeah. Burnout is real in these games. I, I keep everything though. I'm such a hoarder. Well, I, I won't let it go. Games, we like, go we are over an episode at this point. Okay. Do we want to finish this dungeon, though? Yeah, let's finish it out. Right. I'll, I'll call it a close on this, this I'm, series. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't want to stop playing. More Darkest Dungeon to come next time on Instant Replay Live. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo. it. Plans, free stroke, Sonic, golf.